So leading up to the actual week or the actual ambush was so crazy. I actually feel like that might be crazier than the week itself was. Um, just trying to get everything ready, um, getting donors, that type of thing. Um, I mean, I had confidentiality forms shoved in my purse for months, and I'd have to whip one out and say, well, I can't actually speak with you about this until you sign this confidentiality form. You know, are you okay with that? So some of those things were just funny, but um, the worst of it all was poor Deb Watney. Deb Watney was our community liaison, and she's actually, she works um, at Dakota Medical Foundation, and she, so she's very close with the Gramish family. And we had to just derail her so much before the ambush because things were getting a little bit too close. You know, they were maybe guessing that it was going to be them. So, you know, we had to just keep derailing her. And when I saw her face at the ice rink that day, or on site after we had left the ice rink, I mean, she was just like in tears but happy and just, oh, I was so nervous that they weren't going to get it. And... You know, poor Deb, she just wants, I'm surprised she didn't have a heart attack. Um, during the week, it was great to look out at the build site or maybe when I was giving a tour of the home um, during construction to see people from around the community that maybe you, you know, that works at the bank you go to or people you're recognizing that you don't necessarily know out there in their hard hat and their blue shirt, you know, working away. Um, uh, Mark who works for Concordia, he's the provost for Concordia, all he wanted to do was get down and dirty in the job site. You know, Concordia was a huge, huge donor in our build and we, you know, are forever grateful for them. And all he wanted in return was to go, you know, hammer some nails. So that just shows the community that we live in and the support. Um, trying to think of some other ones. You know, seeing the band 32 Below up on the roof you know, doing some of that work. I mean, it was just a great experience to see all the different people from the community coming together for this one family. A few of the more heartwarming stories that I can remember from the build was um, just seeing the kids come to the spectator area to see their parents that hadn't even been working for 24 hours at that point. Um, they would sit on the little fence and they would just look over and then they'd see their dad come or their mom and they were just so proud to have their parent out there and I know that was hard for the, the mom or dad as well to be away from their family for that week but just to see those little moments um, throughout the week was really fun. Um, another great uh, another great moment was when the Blivens came, the family that we built the house for in Minot and seeing them and just seeing them from a different side or different perspective um, and I know that they had told me that it was so great to actually see what goes on during that week because obviously when they had their house built, you know, they were on their vacation. So it was kind of cool for them to see that side of thing. And I mean, they're just like local celebrities. They, you know, came into the VIP tent and everyone is, you know, talking to them. And that was, that was definitely another great, great moment. It was also so great to see the talent and how they would interact with all those fans that would come and sit in spectator for hours at a time just trying to get you know a picture of Polly or an autograph that type of thing um, and it, it was so nice to see them taking the time to do that because you know walking by the same little girl hour after hour after hour and then seeing her face as Polly comes over and you know gives her a high five and signs her autograph you know those are the little things that really do matter and you know, it's great. I mean, Polly would come back after they wrapped for the day and, you know, hang out with fans and that type of thing. And just going that extra step, making those people feel special, that's what it's all about. Some of the things that I took away from this build would be, you know, communication is key. No matter what you're doing in life, having good communication. Uh, but more importantly is the relationships that were built and cultivated during this week. There were people that I hadn't even met until the ambush that I can see being lifelong friends. You know, you work together on this project, it's not anything that anybody can do on their own. Um, you share some good laughs, you, you know, share those crazy moments, and I will be forever grateful for all the people that I have met and, you know, built friendships with during this week. Um, I wish a little bit that I could take some of that, you know, some of the things that I was able to do during that week with me for the rest of my life, like 
if I ever wanted to put the fear of God into anybody, I would just be a radio away from Patrick or Dave Orr, so that was really great. Um, being able to have two breakfasts as well as two suppers every night, you know, I mean, I kind of wish I could do that, you know, on a normal basis, but um, in all seriousness, those relationships that were built during that week will, will last a lifetime. Well, this time last year, I was probably stripping in a porta potty going from my nighttime cold weather clothes to my warm weather clothes because it was 80, 90 degrees above, which was great. We couldn't have asked for better weather. Um, but that week, when I look back at it, it seems like it was just yesterday. And one of my favorite quotes is, be the change that you wish to see in the world. And I think extreme makeover, I think this experience, that's how I would sum it up. It's people taking the time out of their da daily lives to help a family that they didn't even know um, that's, it was very heartwarming, it was very humbling, and, I mean, I wouldn't trade that experience for the world.